Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include European Commission does Eurosceptics dirty work again. EU needs new fundamental flaw, MEP Verhofstadt says. EU entry to shine harsh light on Croatia's finances. The Word, our dedicated public speaking programme. Plus, your letters, Hayden Davis writes, European Union. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, defenders of the status quo in the European Union like to argue that three million jobs in this country currently depend on Britain's membership. Aside from the rather shaky maths behind that figure, it's striking that today's Chris Grayling is making a stand on a Brussels plan that will cost jobs in this country rather than boost them. The Sunday Telegraph reports the Justice Secretary accusing the European Commission of not living in the real world, with new data protection laws threatening to cost British businesses around £360 million a year. Grayling makes it very clear in his interview with the newspaper that he views these proposals as a direct threat, not just to Britain's competitiveness, but to Europe's position in the global race. A new round of EU treaty change and referendums will be needed in 2015 after next year's European elections, says one of the bloc's top politicians. The Liberal leader in the European Parliament, Guy Verhofstadt, called for a new fundamental law for the EU to give the bloc long-term cohesion. The former Belgian Prime Minister was speaking at a high-profile debate in London on the EU's future. EU politicians negotiated for eight years to seal the 2009 Lisbon Treaty. The EU's struggle to coordinate policy in the Euro crisis has fueled calls for a much closer political union with a Eurozone government and separate Eurozone budget. There's a failure in the way we govern Europe. It's intergovernmental. We need far more integrated Europe, said Mr Verhofstadt. Formal talks on revising the EU treaties should start in early 2015, he said, and it is necessary to deal with the problem, not just economic, but also defence. Croatia may have to go straight into an EU disciplinary procedure when it joins the bloc in July and face an even tougher haul than its ex-communist peers in adapting to free market pressures. Croatia will become the European Union's 28th member state and only the second entrant after Slovenia of the republics that emerged from the Yugoslav wars of the 1990s. But after four years without growth and only limited efforts to reduce the state's role in the economy, debt and budget deficit levels breach EU limits. A European Commission paper issued last week alongside others on current EU member economies suggests Croatia will have to put under formal EU scrutiny almost as soon as it enters the bloc on July the 1st. We are well on the way now with our public speaking programme, with more than 150 presentations and public speaking performances delivered since we began the unit project. We are building further momentum and we regularly deliver more than two presentations each week. However, we want to continue to develop this programme and our longer term vision is to have one of our speakers presenting to an audience every single day. Right now we have the resources and presentation materials to be able to deliver these, but we are going to need some help too. And that's where you can come in. Do you know or have contact with any groups or organisations that would like to have one of our team come and deliver our presentation about Britain and the history of the European Union? If you can help us, then please do get in touch so that we can work with you to spread the word. More letters from readers and viewers. Today, Hayden writes, Dear Sir or Madam, I cannot wait for this country of ours to opt out of the EU. The antics of Brussels has annoyed me and my family for years. Also, so many of friends of mine. Being in the EU is like having a joint bank account with the whole street. 
where anyone can sign cheques as long as we and other richer families pay the bills. Likewise, the Greeks and others out of work can still opt to sign away the cheques. Get us out of it, please. Keep up the good campaign. Life will be hard for a while, but we shall soon get used to it and enjoy being a nation again and working under our own age-tested rules. Hayden Davis in Somerset. Well, Hayden, thank you very much for taking the time to write to us with your views. So, what do you think about Britain's relationship with the EU? Write in and let us know. Today in our video library, we take a closer look at the blah 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 blah. No, we don't. Video library, take two in three, two, one. Today in our video library, we take a look at the potential for a collapse of the global monetary system. Jim Rickards takes us through a whistle-stop tour of how national financial strategies are shifting their asset bases in preparation for coming deeper financial problems. Is the dollar poised to be toppled as the world's reserve currency? The European Central Bank is repositioning its strategy and the euro is beginning to strengthen. Does this offer hope and optimism for the European Union? Jim Rickards presents his ideas and some potential solutions. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below. <laughs>